So for breakfast this morning, the babies are having a piece of toast with butter, <clears throat> Greek yogurt, and raspberries. Well, good morning, everybody. It is a little after 8 a.m., and we are getting ready to head out the door to take Aubrey to school. It's been a busy morning. Lately, Shane has been taking her to school. Ob, get your backpack on. Um, but I am today because he has, of course, his union hall. It is freezing cold out. He said it's like minus 18, which is that Celsius, but it's still really cold, so we are bundled up. We're ready to go. No! Well, we're home. Uh, I start to get groceries after I dropped Aubrey off at school. Gosh, it was a tough morning, I'll be honest. Um, I haven't had to take her to school since December, and that's when um, Shane was laid off. So he's been taking her and picking her up every day, which has been so awesome. So I don't have to rush around and get out of the house in the morning. It's just, you know, if you, you know, do the drop off with a couple of kids, you know how tough it can be and in the which I still we're in spring but it doesn't feel like spring um and dealing with like coats and mitts and boots and um I got Colt into the truck and he immediately took his um socks off and I just put socks on him because I don't take him out when I drop her off at school um but then I decided to go and get groceries and, um, anyways, good thing I had a pair of rain boots in the truck for him, but, anyways, Mama was losing her peace this morning, and it wasn't good, um, and I, I'm thankful for that drive, though. I put on some Christian music, like the Christian radio station, and I'm just trying to get back to where I need to be, um, said some apologies to Aubrey for just being short with her this morning. She was kind of in just like a... A slow kind of mode and mommy was in a go 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 mode so we weren't kind of gelling very well and um, while I don't like those moments it does give opportunity for me to see where the ugly is coming out of me where that mean mommy is rising up and where I just need a whole lot more Jesus and a whole lot more peace in those weak areas of my life so Hindsight being 2020, I'm thankful for those moments. I'll take what I can from them and learn from them and learn to be more at peace. Maybe I need to wake up a little bit earlier and I just need to relax myself a bit because this isn't life or death here. And um, I just kind of get to see those ugly moments within myself. So Colt is walking off with the pretzels and Cheerios. So <laughs> that's not good. I'm going to get these groceries um, laid out. I'll show you what I picked up and um, get on with our day. So here are my groceries that I picked up this week. So I picked up these tortillas for tacos. Probably Taco Tuesday tomorrow. Um, and then also this um, baking cocoa. I use this in a lot of Trim Healthy Mama recipes. And then fruit was not really great anywhere this week. So I picked up two of these cans of Dole fruit. This one is peaches and this is a fruit salad blend. Um, sometimes I do that. I'll either get frozen or I'll get um, some canned fruit when, you know, some of the staple things that we like, like pears and um, apples and things like that, are not on a good deal. Um, grapes and berries, neither of them were a great price anywhere. So when those weeks happen, I usually get something like this to fill in the blanks. I also picked up another bottle of Truvia. And then I got this jam for the kids. Um, it is no added sugar jam. I'm trying to get them away from sugar. I myself have gone sugar-free, and it is... I. I don't want my kids to be consuming as much sugar um, as they are. We're not big into treats and candies and lots of junk, although you will see junk, like let's be real here. Um, but I am just trying to make better choices in the areas where I can. So things like jam, they don't need the extra sugar, So and they're not going to really notice. So I'm just going to put that in with our regular rotation of kind of breakfast foods and stuff, and I think that will be good. So um, we have lo always have lots of crackers on hand. These are great snacks for the kids. So I got some goldfish and pretzel sticks. 
and then some multi-grain Cheerios. Um, mushrooms, I love these sautéed as a side for dinner. Some mandarin oranges, cabbage, cantaloupe. Broccoli was big time on sale, it was 88 cents a bunch, so I got three bunches. One head I will roast for a meal. Um, we probably won't do all of it, but I will also keep some of it raw. Aubrey loves broccoli. She could eat a whole crown of broccoli herself. She loves it. So um, we'll definitely have this on hand for snacks and, and sides, but I will probably freeze these two. Um, and then I picked up some lettuce and a bag of radishes. If you've never tried radishes sautéed uh, or roasted, oh my goodness, they are delicious. So we don't really do a lot of potatoes anymore. My family doesn't really eat them, even if I do buy them, and I don't eat them as part of uh, Trim Healthy Mama. So radishes are something that we add in with um, like stews or even just like as a hash, like if you chop these up and saute them with some um, oil and some onions and oh my gosh, they're really good. It sounds so bizarre, but um, they're delicious. So we picked up some baby carrots, some sweet potatoes, some apples, two tomatoes, um, egg whites, cottage cheese, Ooh, sorry for the sun, um, some cream cheese, some frozen broccoli, or frozen cauliflower. I was so excited to see this. Usually I have a really difficult time finding frozen cauliflower, and they actually had it at the grocery store today. So um, I'm excited about that. Uh, and then two packages of this extra lean kielbasa sausage. So one recipe that I'm going to do this week is a sausage... <laughs> it's called cab and sausage um, skillet and so what you do is you saute your uh, cabbage with some um, onion powder and some um, chicken broth and it's just it's come so delicious and then you add like the um, the sausage to it in like bits and oh my gosh it's like one of our favorite meals and I didn't have it originally on my menu plan but I saw that the sausage was on sale and I'm like, we are doing that. So let me show you my menu plan. Okay, so I did a lot of um, Trim Healthy Mama recipes this week. So I kind of have it here in my little thing. So, okay. This is just like super rough cut. <laughs> um, I haven't like put this on regular paper. It's just all brainstorming. So anyways. Today we are going to do a pork loin, which speaking of, I better get it in the crock pot. Um, pork loin, salad, um, sauteed mushrooms, and some roasted beans. Tuesday will be, actually we'll do taco Tuesday tomorrow, um, and we will have, I will do just taco salad, and the family will have the tortillas, I'm sure, and um, pineapple. So Tuesday will be loaded spaghetti squash casserole, and peaches, and what did I write here? Roasted broccoli. So, yes. I already had, um, so this menu plan I mixed in with a lot of things that we already have on hand. So, what I didn't purchase, I still need to get more cheese and probably some eggs sometime next week and chicken. I'm going to get another pack of chicken. But other than that, we pretty much have everything on hand here. So Thursday will be um, pork sammies, so barbecue pork sandwiches um, left over from the pork loin. We will have coleslaw. Oh, I do need to get a coleslaw mix. Um, applesauce. Friday will be pizza, veggie sticks and dip, and fruit. And for dip, we just use um, ranch salad dressing. Saturday will be a Trim Healthy Mama recipe. It's hamburger, cheeseburger pie, um, corn, coleslaw, and green fries, which are... Um, green beans that are roasted with um, parmesan cheese and some nutritional yeast and some other goodness that makes them super yummy. Sunday will be chicken parmi, which is like chicken parmesan. Uh, Monday will be just chicken breast with sweet potato fries and um, this is a Trim Healthy Mama de uh, dessert. It's bust a myth banana cake. And let's see, Tuesday will be um, Trim Healthy Mama mac and cheese and I will also add chicken to it for a protein element. Um, Wednesday, Wednesday I didn't put anything, that will probably be when we do the cabin sausage skillet. And Thursday, um, 
we'll probably get groceries again next Thursday, maybe. I think we will probably need to get them after our small group. So there's a night of flexibility in there. We could probably do spaghetti or grilled cheese or something like that. Um, yeah. And then just some other ideas of things that I want to make throughout the week, like some oatmeal and baked pancake for myself. Um, smoothies and strawberry muffins, things like that. <laughs> so that is a little look at what our menu plan looks like. director call with Sensi in 15 minutes. So every Monday we have a director leadership call um, with the different executives from Sensi. So I always look forward to that. It's always really great training and information. So that will be for the next hour. It starts at noon. I've got my leadership notebook here. This is from Erin Condra, and I did an unboxing of this a while ago. Um, it has my team name on it, the Shining Little Superstars and Sensi Director, so that is fun. I've got that with me. I'm going to quickly register for a Sensi Family Reunion, which is our um, conference that we have every year, so I'm going to hurry up and register for that before training begins. I'm going to have my breakfast slash lunch. <laughs> um, I made some eggs, a little bit of ham, and um, that Trim Healthy Mama volcanic, volcano mudslide 
I don't know, volcanic or volcano mudslide um, muffin thing with some Greek yogurt. So that is what I'm going to have, and I am going to plug into this training. Mondays are always a really kind of busy day for me because I've got um, the training on the Sensi training, and then I do a lot of team stuff on Mondays, um, especially at the beginning of the month. Because I want to um, shout out like the top sales for our team and um, acknowledge all the new consultants that joined the past month. So always lots to do on a Monday. So it's been a busy morning for me, but it feels so good to feel to get so much done and feel so very accomplished. right now um, Colt is just finishing up his lunch and we got to go get Aubrey so we need to leave here within the next 15 minutes so yeah <laughs> um, I am just really starting to drag I'm not really sure why I didn't wake up too particularly early um, I had a coffee I'm not really sure why I'm kind of dragging but I'm gonna drink some water Hopefully that will kind of refresh myself a bit. Shane will be home around 3. He had a course at his union hall today, so that's why he's not here. Um, so maybe when he comes home, he'll make us a coffee. I don't know. I'm just, I'm starting to drag. But again, I probably really just need to drink some water. That's been a focus and a goal that I'm trying to do is just make sure that I'm really getting my water intake. And I haven't really so much today, so i got to do that. Um, I'm not sure how much I will film the rest of the day, to be perfectly honest. Um, I think once Aubrey's home, I'll probably just relax for a bit. I've kind of been doing a lot of stuff throughout the day. Um, so I think I'm just going to take some time to relax when she gets home. We kind of, um, when she gets home, it is sort of just a period of time where we just all take it kind of easy for a bit. We kind of just transition into the evening. The kids have a snack. Um, we turn on a TV show. 
uh, Shane and I use that time to like check Facebook on our phones or whatever. Like it's just downtime for all of us. So um, I think I'll probably just watch some YouTube videos and relax for a bit while the kids are relaxing and unwinding. So um, dinner again is in the crock pot. And I probably won't even need to go out into the kitchen until about 4.30 where I'll start dishes and um, I'll get my mushrooms ready and bake my, or roast my green beans. So that is probably kind of, kind of look like maybe our day. Um, I've got a big pile of laundry sitting next to me that all needs folded. And I'm going to attempt to iron tonight. So that will probably be my evening, I'm thinking, so... Anyways, I hope you guys had a really great day. It's been a good day for me. Um, I will probably check in with you tomorrow as Veda keeps rolling along. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. It really means a lot to me. Um, we actually talk about you guys throughout our day and um, we just, I don't know, we just really appreciate you guys that you take the time to invest in our life and leave comments and like our videos and, you know, create community here. I, I'm so thankful for it and I'm so thankful for all of you guys. So I hope you guys have a really great day, whatever time of day that you end up watching this. And I will check in with you later. Bye.